Hi, this is Sean, Big Man Tattoo here at Sean Show 2024. I was recently made aware that this gentleman to my right had accomplished a near impossible task of hitting a target at over 2,000 yards with an air rifle. Ton, tell us about that. Well, I decided to go up to visit the Lucid Summit. This is Jason from Lucid Optics. I was at his summit event and we decided to reach out and see how far we could take a 308 air rifle. So the first day we sighted in on the White Buffalo at 11, 1,123 yards. That's where I zeroed. You made that look easy. Did that in four shots. And I could still see the target inside the scope at that point. And then Jason asked me the most important questions like, well, what's your velocity? What are you shooting this at? What's your hold? What all that like number letter people crap. So mass, weight, velocity, ballistic coefficient, all those things a shooter should know. You most probably don't. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> See, we're on the same page. Yeah, 100%. So we uh, accomplished that shot rather easily. So the next morning we were going to take it up and only do 1,450 yards because the record at the time that uh, another gentleman did was 12, I think it was 1,250 yards. 1,250, yeah. We were going to, and great guy, up north air gunner, he smoked it with the Texan. So I was going to just go and poke a little further. We get up on the mountain, and it was dead still at 7,000 plus feet elevation in the Whittington Center. And you know me pretty well. It was, screw it. Let's go for broke. The next target was 2,058 from where we were sitting. They asked me all the fun questions again. What's the blizzard? What'd you shoot? I said, I don't know. Let's just try. Because me and the guys from Pyramid Air, we've got the calculators out. We're trying to go, all right, we're going to give you this much. Trying to give him good data, a reference point. He has none of that. So we're guessing. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds a lot like a ton. <laughs> <laughs> all I needed to know, it was simple. I said, everybody get on glass. Tell me where you see splash. I can do the rest from there. I'm, my shoes are on. I'm not going to sit there and spend the rest of the day trying to count. I'm like, let's just be real. <laughs> so everybody was on glass and we sent the first round down range and Jason spotted splash, gave me a correction. I did more hold and told me where I hit on the second shot, third shot. By the third shot, I was just bottom left of the target. You were within a foot in the dirt. In the dirt. So you're there. You just got to connect now. And I'm looking, using my point of reference is the trees on the top of the mountainside. So I figured, okay, I'm a foot off. I know what how big a normal pine tree is. I just moved over and lifted up just a hair and buried it right in the target. Now, seven seconds worth of flight path. There's a lot of folks holding their breath. And I'll be honest, when I saw a new, new strike on steel, it took me a second to let that register. So when, by the time I called it, I was a little late to actual impact, but I had four other folks verify it and he did it. And I got to see a little bit of the, the video from that day. And it was exactly that. Brown broke and then everyone went crazy. Mm. Um, hopefully I can get a copy of that so I can throw it into here oh, too. Oh yeah, right definitely yeah. get your copy. But, uh, yeah, no, saw that happen to go by the Air Force Air Guns booth, saw the video, and it's like, hey, I know that guy. And then had to come down and talk to you about it. Yeah, it was it was a very, very fun experience, very stressful. I think everybody else, like Jason, was more stressed than me because I went up to, what's the worst that can happen? I don't hit the target, no harm, no foul. Um, But there was a lot of naysayers up there that day that were, Quite a few cracking jokes, like, oh, it's you, your guns go poof and ours go bang. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Think of that all yourself. But they are friends. We heckle each other a lot. But by the third shot, you would hear, oh, this is possible. Oh, crap. This, this is happening. And on my last two shots, it was dead silent. Everybody was on glass, binos watching and then when it hit it was a moment of disbelief they're like 
that just happened. And I was beyond excited. After it was all said and done, they're all, hey, do you want to stay and shoot for the day? I packed my stuff up with Tyler from Pyramid Air, put everything in my truck, and we drove 11 and a half hours home. Stopped one time for fuel. <laughs> Sitting at the bench, though, I got to see the big man cry. Oh, yeah. It was an emotional moment. He just did something special. Oh, just while I was watching the video, it was as soon as I saw it and I, I saw the reaction, it's like, real fake? No, that's real excitement. That's excitement. Yeah. Well, he did it. Wow. Yeah. So I hear rumors that you might try it again. Oh, no, it's not a rumor. I'm going to attempt it again. Whether it happens or not, I'm going to try to go maybe a little further. Um, you never know. It, that day was a very, I've been up on that hill a few times. And to have less than a half mile an hour of wind, it was dead still. I'm always going to keep trying, there, and I hope other people try. I, it, the best thing is if someone legitimately breaks my record, not just sitting a gun in a vice and shooting 600 rounds in one direction and letting the law of averages take place, mm. actually do it. I hope someone goes out there, and that's what's great about this industry. Give people a chance to go do stuff. I want to break that record. And I hope other people want to, too. I hope people go out and try different things, different trick shots, different challenges. That's what makes it fun. Get outside and do something. I, I couldn't agree more with that one. I'm now building an optic for you for yeah. the next one. So I can see. Well, thank you for taking the time, Ton. Hopefully Always the okay. next time you do it, I'll be able to get out there and check it out myself. That would be absolutely amazing, brother. I always love seeing you. It's always a pleasure seeing you, too. Thank you. Shasha 2024, you see some crazy things. See you next time. He'd be a good candidate for Summit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go up to Summit, it's so much fun up there. So, talking to being up top, I have a buddy in Grand Junction. Uh, she's real estate combat. They run a range out there and they have a two mile long. Caldwell just if you go by the Caldwell booth, you see that big hanging Ipsen target? That's on this way to my house after the show. <laughs> said we lost something that you can see finally. <laughs> um so I'm interviewing them hopefully today. Uh, I'm trying I'm changing over from interviews solely to trying to get more attention to the shooting sports yeah. and to let more people know we're not all dicks. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Um, part of the time. But I yeah. wanted to talk to him. I'll get my dinner plate scheduled to be shoot out there. Thank you. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just I have to have spotters because I'm blind. <laughs> I'm literally blind. Well, I'll talk to them, see if it's something that can be done, let you know, and then we can schedule it and can get out there. I want to go do practice run probably at his place in March. March 16th ish. That around that time in Wyoming, and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna take it till that boy can straight down. It's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love seeing it.